Hey, what's up everyone? You're here with Goran and thank you for joining me here for your free picks for Monday, February 26th. Well guys, Sunday was a little bit better than Saturday was. Unfortunately, we lost that parlay uh, thanks to the VAR and uh, Chelsea and Liverpool missing a ton of chances in that game in the EFL Cup finale. At the end, Liverpool was able to win uh, in the extra time, basically two minutes before the end of the game. Uh, Van Dijk scored a goal. Uh, and they got a 1-0 win, but uh, yeah, like I said, we saw a few posts hit, Chelsea missed a ton of chances, Liverpool missed a ton of great chances, and uh, the ball just wouldn't go in, and then when we got one, VAR took it away because of some bullshit call on the offside, uh, which technically was a true thing, but uh, those rules are absolutely ridiculous, and uh, that goal shouldn't have been taken away. Uh, for Monday, guys, we have four free picks in this video. Uh, one in uh, La Liga, one in the EPL, and two games in the Serie A. Uh, there's no Champions League this week, but we have a bunch of other games, so uh, there will be a bunch of free picks throughout the entire week. Uh, for my best bets, click the link in the description. That will get you up to my page where you can sign up, get a daily pass, three-day pass, seven-day pass, or even a month-long pass if that's something you want to do. Uh, and... Uh, Let's have a great week, guys, and uh, let's win some money together. Uh, let's get this show on the road, guys. The first game we have is between West Ham and Brentford in the EPL. Two very much struggling teams right now. Uh, I would say of a very similar quality. Uh, the difference is that uh, Brentford has a bunch of injuries right now, and that is definitely having a bad impact on, on, on their game right now. But overall, they're scoring about the same amount as West Ham does. 35 goals to West Ham's 36 goals. Defensively, both have conceded 44 goals so far this season. And uh, Brentford uh, is conceding 17 goals in 12 games on the road while scoring 13. While West Ham on the other side is conceding 17 goals at home in 12 games while, while scoring 18. So... Uh, with both teams not performing that well on either end right now. As a matter of fact, West Ham hasn't scored a goal in their last three games. This is a game where they simply have to score a goal. There's no other way around it. If they want to have a positive result in this game, they will have to score a goal, possibly even more than one. Uh, but defensively, those problems will not just go away. And this is going to be a great opportunity for Brentford to do the same. Uh, and uh, with that in mind, guys, I'm thinking both teams will go for it. I don't think we'll see much defense on, on, on either side, especially if we see an early goal in this one. And for that reason, both teams to score and over 2.5 goals. That's going to be my pick for this game. For our next pick, guys, we are going to go to La Liga, where we have Girona hosting uh, Raja Vallecano. And uh, Girona's main goal here for this game is to get a positive result, preferably a win, so they can re-engage uh, re Real Madrid in that title race. Uh, thanks to Barcelona winning their game, uh, Girona dropped to third place right now, which potentially with a win here, they will go back to that second place. But they haven't beaten anyone in their last three games, and uh, they have scored only two goals in those three games. So all that atomic offense they had uh, for pretty much the entire season up until a few weeks ago has basically disappeared right now. And uh, this is a must-win game for them. They have to go for it. They have pretty much all of their starting players available to play. They have to create more and more chances. They have to become more effective. And luckily for them, Real Valicano is not in a good form. They haven't beaten anyone in their last seven games. Uh, when playing on the road, Real Valicano hasn't conceded a lot of goals, only 12 goals in 13 games. Uh, but uh, they definitely don't have an, uh, an, an offense to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Girona here. Uh, I do like Girona on the money line. I would possibly take them on minus one on the Asian line and uh, the least we're gonna get out of this one will be the push but I'm gonna go with Girona team total over 1.5 goals at minus 154 I think that they will try to step it up I think that they will be successful in that and I think that Girona will score at least a couple of goals in this game in the Italian Serie A, guys, like I said, we have a couple of games, and the first one is between Roma and Torino, which is going to be a very close game, in my opinion. Uh, Roma had a game earlier last week uh, against Feyenoord, which went to the penalty shootout, and uh, with that in mind, Roma has qualified for the next stage because they have beaten Feyenoord uh, in, after the penalty shootout, but uh, it was a long and taxing game for them, and... Uh, they have more depth than Torino has, but still, uh, it, it was a lot of game to play and uh, they could potentially be a little bit tired in this game. Uh, 
As far as Torino goes, they're coming off of a 2 0 loss against uh, Lazio at home, which was definitely a highly disappointing result. But overall, their form has been quite decent. And uh, when playing on the road, they're conceding just over one goal on average, while scoring way less than a goal on average. And that is going to be a big problem for them because uh, Roma has a lot of offense this season and they're averaging more than two scored goals per game at home. And I know that they have played that game uh, last week, but. Uh, this is going to be another good game for them where they have to get a win uh, if they want to join the tour. Uh, but I think it's going to be a little bit uh, over, to be honest here. And uh, with that in mind, I decided to take over 4.5 cards at minus 154. And for the last pick of this video, guys, we have Fiorentina hosting Lazio in another Serie A game. And uh, honestly, without even looking at this one, this one reeks of both teams to score for me. Uh, defensively, neither side is too solid. Yes, Lazio kept a clean sheet against Torino, but that is not going to happen again. Uh, especially because Fiorentina hasn't scored a goal in their last three home games against Lazio. But at the moment, their form is pretty solid, especially at home. They're, they are creating chances, they are scoring goals, and they are fairly healthy. So... Uh, like I said, both teams to score at minus 110. I think it's a great price and uh, I will take this any day of the week. That's it, everyone. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, these were free picks for Monday. I hope you have a great day, guys. Uh, I wish you all the luck in the world with all of your bets. And of course, stay tuned for more free picks coming up soon.